Star Trek Prodigy, Season 2, Episode 9. It's a two-parter, and its title is The Devourer of All Things, Part 1. It's okay. That's pretty, pretty big deal. I don't know what's happening. It's the time tentacles. Oh, no. Let's do it. <laughs> what's cool in Star Trek Online, if you got the Prodigy, which is, like, so expensive to try and get, mm. like, some of its attacks have that cool, like, spiral motion to it. Oh, and I'm like, oh, it looks so cool. Gwen's personal log. Start Put the captions on. I'm a woman. We're about to I arrive can't at the see what the captions are. Oh, he's still in the body? Strange. What? Yeah, I figured it would take some time. But what if it just falls apart and you're all crazy? Well, they said slowly, <laughs> but it is risky. I should have done what they did with Isaac in Orville and just like made that look exactly like the actor. That would've been fun. <laughs> Indicating there is something out there. Yeah. Oh, he actually said almost yeah. Mm -hmm. Is out of phase. Like me, stuck between quantum realities. It what episodes have been like that? Oh it's like a oh planet out of phase. Was it books I've read? I know there's a story in Star Trek like that. There's planets that move into other time and space. <laughs> well, I mean, like gravity. It was like looping around and then disappear for a long time, but. I almost jokingly said. Is Lori Petty down there? <laughs> uh, no, I almost said the thing about the coordinates are right, but no Alderaan, because they came into an asteroid field. <laughs> yeah. And indeed, it was remnants of the planet. Aliens built those. <laughs> Is this where they find the Klingon? I'm sure wanting to know when the Klingon's gonna show up. I need it's to practice gotta be translating the Klingon, everything. Because the bird would be with Chakotay and they would find two life signs. Yeah. I can't tell. Was this built in the past or the future? Kinda looks like both. Hey. Looks like Assassin's Creed. I don't think I'd buy the figure of Zero's. No, I wouldn't buy that as an action body. figure. <laughs> you could just buy a Navi figure, cut the dreadlocks <laughs> off, and repaint it. But it would have cool eyes. Yeah, but it, they can do the eyes exactly like that in an action figure, I buy it. Yeah. Oh, so that's why there's hairs rising on the back of my neck. I don't have any hair. There are other realities, others who need us. Oh, this plane is... That's a traveler? Oh, it is. The life sign does appear to be in that direction. Well, that's fun. What is going on? It's that doesn't matter. There's a bank was here. Only one way to find out. I want to cut my arm off and get one of his multi mints. <laughs> Indiana Jones in there. Yeah. Not exactly. I'm Wesley Crusher. Okay. <gasps> You've been saying you want to see it, and then now you're like, ah. Oh. <laughs> All right. Well, you know, there's just so many random things happening. It's hard <laughs> to know if it's going to actually be impactful. Yeah. Now Kess needs to show up, and everyone else you've been naming. Yes. But it was fooled, just as you all were. <laughs> we all <laughs> always knew it was a hub. <laughs> you have an incoming message from Admiral Jellicoe. Ooh. So why are you leaving Federation space? I can't tell if he has a nice corner office with the bridge in the back, or he put like a Zoom background on. <laughs> you can come back and file a formal request with Starfleet Command. Good fist. <laughs> Edward, I only have three rules she when first you named him. the starship. Keep your shirt tucked in, go down with the ship. That's what she told Naomi. Edward? I order you to Edward? <laughs> I'm losing. <laughs> That's what I said to always do. <laughs> oh, Just gosh. Just hangs up. <laughs> we are. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I love her so much, and they're doing it so well. Sorry that it's so drafty in here. Does anybody need a sweater? I have got more sweaters than He's you. annoying as well, Waiting. I thought he said Which that he was talking with Murph, therefore he's the rejection that he was talking to. Yeah. They could be switching it hair red herring though. It's true. Well, I mean not in that order, but I feel like he went and wrote some textbooks. <laughs> Perhaps we should hear him out. Is he, like, not telepathic at all now? Oh, yeah, I don't know. And now you're saying there's different universes? Oh, what is going on? If I don't see someone in a goatee at some point in this season, <laughs> they're, they're throwing everything at it. Right? Like, we'll think we have Chicote, but it's mirror Chicote. Yeah, maybe that's why he has a beard in the trailer. Yes. <laughs> oh. I don't mention the mycelial plane. Stop that. 
Uh, for, forget I said anything about that. It doesn't exist. Sir. That was to you, I think. Thank you. <laughs> and that's causing it to unravel. First in small ways, like Gwyn. In significant ways. After the temporal wars. Temporal wars! Is they gonna say he was the one in Enterprise? Because that's a little disappointing. <laughs> so why did Chakotay have this spiral thing? Had he met the Traveler at some point before that? Uh, he stopped talking. I thought I wanted that, but it's scarier when <laughs> Oh no! The tentacles are gonna come! If someone doesn't say shut up Wesley, I'm gonna be sad. <laughs> They're called the loom, and they've frozen and the reality, loom so make sweaters and threads. <laughs> they really were time aberrations, which for the loom is like a subspace navigational beacon transmitting across all frequencies. They can smell us a mile away. This is so much like Quantum Break. <laughs> if you're moving around when the time is frozen, you attract the shifters. Mm. I tried reaching out in undetectable ways, like the Merv or Chakotay's symbol. And Did he just make a nebula that looked like Chakotay's symbol? Or did Chakotay have that symbol because he had met him already and knew the location? Yes, to both. <laughs> Labyrinth. But they were the tentacle things! Mm -hmm. Yeah, I wouldn't go that way either. <laughs> so are we gonna get a good look at it? That's a pretty good look, I guess. Yeah. It's kind of like how to train your dragon with it more tentacles. <laughs> Oh dang. It's like a demon salamander squid. He's using his mind brain. Um, oh wait, where'd you have the big one? Yeah, I didn't see that big one show. <laughs> what the what just happened? See they put on they put on their, their harness so they can exist in stutters now. <laughs> yes. They're bad, Rock. Real, real bad. Why are you purposely trying to scare Rock? She's right. gonna get scared so easy. Maybe because she's like, if it's a fun creature, it's Rock, always don't pet fun, it. <laughs> right? It's gonna be like that time we played Hyper Lanes and we'll be like, we want to tame it and adopt it. Yes. It's our pet now. Those are cool. They're weird. They're cool. Weird is fun. I love it that they're pink. Because it's like they... an unthreatening seeming color right now, but it's like still pretty scary. <laughs> I thought they'd be more angular since that graphic had them as a series of, of squares. Based. What's happening? Huh? We went back to the. 20s. They went to the Ocean View Motel. This is Alan Wake. It's the Remedy Verse. Where are we? Is that Gary Seven's place? Something oh. Safe. That's Gary Seven. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's all coming back. I could sure use a snack. Uh. Earth grapes, anybody? What in the what? Earth grapes. I wanted some earth grapes. Prep an away team to beam down and investigate. Who knows what's waiting for us down there? But they're not there anymore. Yeah, they're... So now you're just gonna show up and get them, them bad things gonna get you. But they're not what? <laughs> displaced in time, so they'll be fine. They'll be fine, Janeway. Well, there was that one shot from the trailer where, like, Janeway's driving a thing and like remember something tentacly jumped on a her vehicle oh i don't remember i well, immediately forgot you tried to forget everything <laughs> i remember stuff from the trailer i haven't been bringing up because i figured you'd get more mad <laughs> also you had to edit that so i see i see everything way more than you do. yeah like in a month from now you'll like have seen the show three times and i'll be like what, what happened I yeah forget you, everything that happened because i usually watch it with you watch it again while i'm editing it and then I watch it with mom afterwards. So I see the show three times. <laughs> well, it was fun to have Wesley get involved. Although it, it was is... like a very like, they it's like they revealed him and then it was like, and he was everything that's been happening that felt like it was kind of getting almost out of control. Yeah. But at least they haven't stopped adding references with that room. That room has to be Gary Sevens. It, it do you want to look up what his room looks like? You have nonstop non-stop been talking about Wesley and the Traveler just need to show up and do well, everything. They, they, they gave us only a Click statue of, of the Traveler. Wesley's Traveler-y nature, yeah, he could just, did he just assemble a star system nebula thing to look like Chakotay's symbol, or did Chakotay know that symbol? Oh, it's, it's the vault door. door. See, I'm telling you! Yeah, that's Gary Seven. He has the vault door and he has the the whole lounge area that looks like that. Like, yeah, the Marti the wall of martini glasses, everything. Yeah. 
Wow. Dude, dude, dude. I forgot about the vault door. That would have tipped me off right away. But as yeah, soon as they went yeah. into his office, I was like, oh my gosh. What else? Do you have anything you want to talk about that episode? Oh, uh, I mean, no. Let's just get to the next it's one. Next one. Okay, bye. Part two.